Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 25th of April. I'm James Spann. What a beautiful day today. Temperature's nice and cool. Another cold night tonight, but some rain by the weekend. Let's talk about it. We'll go to some of the Skycam shots. What a great day today. That's our Cullman Skycam. You can see the uh, Sacred Heart Church off in the distance, a bright, sunny day in Cullman County. There's the Fayette County Courthouse with bright, sunny weather there. And down south, the surf and the sand. Gulf Shores, Alabama. What a fine place to be on a late April day. A little cool today. I got a trough over the east that pushed the cold front through yesterday. Temperature is about 10 degrees below average. We ought to be in the mid 70s. Birmingham at 66 at mid afternoon. Only 61 in Cullman, despite a sunny sky. Got some low 70s down to the south and around the nation. It's just hard to find any real warmth. I mean, you don't see any reds or oranges on that map. Temperatures, generally speaking, below average for much of the nation. In fact, we've got some frost and freeze warnings in effect for parts of North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, and points north. And obviously around here, no serious weather issues in the short term. Tomorrow, moisture begins to return west of the state. We have the standard slight risk of severe weather for the Arklatex region and the Red River region, separating Texas and Oklahoma. And uh, on day three, which is Saturday, there's no formal risk. We've got the 5% severe weather possibility over a pretty good chunk of Alabama, but I don't think we have a big issue with severe weather. But as always, when it comes to thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. There's the rain for the next seven days. This carries us through uh, Thursday evening of next week. And a lot of rain here. Uh, This is showing rain amounts of two inches. And uh, again, we'll start to see the shower Saturday, and we'll have kind of an extended stretch of unsettled weather. We'll take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon local time at 500 millibars. Pretty good little short wave coming through Kansas, as you can see, but down below that, that's way west of here. Uh, should be a nice day. The sky sunny, highs mid to upper 70s tomorrow. And we'll start the day again around 40 in colder pockets, probably 30s again, just like this morning. All right, Saturday, uh, we got a surface load near Little Rock, and it looks like a warm front moving northward, maybe through north Alabama. And this is suggesting the GFS, the main rain, will be north of the warm front over Tennessee. Uh, So it's possible. I I could see a scenario where that happens. Maybe some rain Saturday morning and it stops, and much of the day Saturday could be dry. Let's check the high-resolution 4-kilometer NAM. And this is valid at 11 a.m. local time Saturday morning. And it kind of supports the idea. You can almost pick out a warm front there along Interstate 20, and the big rains are north of the warm front, and really some good rain falling there. Uh, So it could be a setup where rain maybe begins early Saturday morning in advance of the warm front. We see rain maybe, you know, 8, 9 o'clock Saturday morning, and then it stops as the rain moves northward up toward the Tennessee Valley. So That idea is certainly supported by both the GFS and the NAM, but clearly it's not going to rain all day. If you got something planned outdoors, and I get the idea, the better chance of rain could be Saturday morning, and then maybe a few developing showers later in the day uh, as the air becomes unstable. But whatever, certainly some rain on Saturday, and uh, temperatures will probably rise into the uh, mid-70s, maybe upper 70s if the sun can break out. Uh, Sunday, again, that looks kind of unsettled. Uh, The surface low is passing north of us with a trailing cold front. And as that comes in here, we'll have a chance of showers and some thunder on Sunday. Will it rain all day? Nope. Severe weather? Probably not. Some thunder? Yes. But uh, again, I don't think it rains all day. Now, Monday, you know, where that front stops is up for debate. The GFS has the front near Interstate 59. North of that highway, it's dry. South of that highway, it's still kind of showery on Monday. Uh, And again, there's not been very good consistency out here, so a a specific solution is not good. Clearly, we'll still need to mention a chance of showers Monday. Tuesday, the front kind of dissipates, and we've got a moist air mass, but there's no trigger for rain. Tuesday looks warm and humid. We, We probably see low 80s. Maybe a few widely scattered showers, but not a lot of rain. And then Wednesday, the moist air stays in place, a shower possible. But like Tuesday, I don't think it rains a lot, Uh, probably a high around 80. And ooh, Thursday, a week from today, look at the trough digging up north. 
Yeah, it's going to drive a cold front down this way. Uh, the cold front entering northwest Alabama, so maybe a decent round of showers and some thunder Thursday afternoon or Thursday night of next week. And look at this now. This is uh, Friday, May 3rd. Uh, deep upper low forms near Chicago and Milwaukee in a trough, and that's going to be a very cool pattern for the east. And uh, down below that, uh, again, this is Friday, May 3rd. Uh, we turn sharply cooler. Uh, highs dropping to only about 60. A, a stiff north wind. And then, uh, you know, that weekend looks pretty cool. Uh, uh, May 4th and May 5th, it looks dry and cool. It's race weekend at Talladega. And again, I wouldn't be shocked if some of the colder pockets getting down in the 30s. That is very cold for May in Alabama. Amazingly cold. So uh, something to watch, and we'll watch the numbers for the growers in case any May surprises happen there. We rarely ever see frost in May here. Uh, we'll check the end of the forecast May 11th. That looks nice and quiet. And if that's right, the weather would be mild and dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget, if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News, the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show, available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app, and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.